The research article that we are going to discuss very briefly is called Modulation of Wireless 2.45 GHz Induced Oxidative Toxicity in Laryngotracheal Mucosa of Rats by Melatonin. The authors are listed below. And it was published in 2013 in the European Archives of Otorhino Laryngology. To start, it's important to be aware of the fact that Wi-Fi can induce oxidative stress on various cellular systems, and it's a well-known fact that oxidative stress can induce cancer. What is important also is that antioxidants serve as a protective mechanism of oxidative stress. And this as a whole, the fact that Wi-Fi induces oxidative stress and that antioxidants protect against it, is the main goal of this study, essentially. Specifically, the goal is to evaluate the possible protective role of melatonin, which is a robustly powerful antioxidant and more, on the oxidative stress induced by Wi-Fi 2.45 gigahertz electromagnetic radiation. And the specific area of the rat that was studied was the laryngotracheal mucosa of the rat. To test their research question, 32 male rats were equally categorized into four groups. There were two control groups in which there was no Wi-Fi exposure. The role of these control groups are to serve as appropriate comparison groups to the exposed groups. And there were two groups that were exposed to Wi-Fi for one hour a day for 28 days. What they found was that lipid peroxidation levels were significantly higher in the radiation exposed groups than in the control groups. Amazingly, the melatonin treated groups level of lipid peroxidation were even lower than the non-exposed control groups, though this difference was not significantly lower. The other important finding here is that the activity of glutathione peroxidase which is an enzyme that cleans up the cellular damage that results from this all. It was the lowest in the Wi-Fi group that didn't have melatonin treatment. But the Wi-Fi exposure group that was treated with melatonin had higher levels of this protective enzyme than the control group and the Wi-Fi exposed group alone, which had the lowest levels. So what we can conclude from the study is that melatonin seems to play a protective role in Wi-Fi induced oxidative stress through two different rounds. The first is by preventing the formation of free radicals to begin with, and the second is through improved glutathione peroxidase antioxidant system, which cleans up the cellular damage that results from the Wi-Fi. This research study highlights the potential dangers of Wi-Fi given the right level, and it also highlights the potential dangers of other electromagnetic radiation in our area and other technology that we use. And importantly, it highlights the role that melatonin can play in repairing this damage, as well as other antioxidants.